Today we shall be learning a simple tutorial to make a glowing text effect that you can use in backgrounds, poster designs, anything futuristic, anything you fancy really. It's a really simple technique and can add a lot of depth to your font. Now we'll be making something like this and so let's get started. Make a new layer, well sorry a new document, at around 920 by 1200 pixels. For me, press OK, you can of course use any size you like. And just zoom out a bit there. Now first thing first we're going to make a gradient on the background so our foreground color will be black and our background color will be a dark gray so 42, 42, 42 is what I've chosen here and if you want you can just type that right into there to make it a bit easier for you. Just set that, oops, grab the gradient tool And there you go. Then double click the layer, click on gradient overlay, set the blend mode to color. We're looking at around 20%. So let's just call it 30. We'll adjust that afterwards if need be. And we'll be changing it to something colorful. Look at that. Just adding in some color there. We're nice and spread out so it's not too much of a contrast. Oops. Then just press OK and adjust the opacity to how you want it. So around 30% will do me. Press OK. And then go to layer, new full layer, gradient. It's OK. And we're going to be using the black to transparent as it is there. Might add another one just to make that black a bit further into it. Press OK. Obviously, we don't want the dot in the middle there, so we'll just press the reverse button there. And it's hiding too much, so we'll just increase the scale to 150. Press OK. Uh, yeah, it looks really dark right now, but we'll be adjusting the opacity to around there, and then if you want, you can adjust that to a different blending mode, but I'm just going to keep that to normal. Okay, and I'll have the opacity around 30% or so, 24%. Okay, so let's get started on the font. Grab your font tool. Um, we're starting off with Times New Roman here. And you can see that I've got the size to 400 point and the uh, text is set to black. Excuse the email. And uh, we'll just start off with our first letter. So you'll only be able to do one letter at a time. So I'll select somewhere in the middle, a bit to the left, because I'm going to be using three letters. And we'll just go for the letter C first. Now, you see it's hard to see, but now what we're going to do is change the blending mode to screen, and it'll be even harder to see. Then we'll double click on the text layer. And first things first, we'll go to Outer Glow. And the blending mode will be color dodge. Opacity will be around 20%. Color as white. And we'll be keeping the size to around. Seventy. And that'll be it for the outer glow. And then we'll go to stroke. Set that to 2 pixels, position to outside, again the blend mode to color dodge, set the opacity will be around 50%, and fill type color, and again we'll be using white. You can see it may not look like much now, but this is where it gets interesting. 
So let's just zoom in a bit here and duplicate that layer. Select it and then get your type tool and change that font to the next one you want. So I'm just going to use trebuchet here. And then I'm going to go to edit, free transform. And we'll just put an anchor point here just as a reference point because we want it to overlay the other one and be in a similar position so it's not too outlandish. Okay, supply, and then we'll do it again another few times. And if you need uh, more fonts, uh, I'll give a link in the description box below uh, for a place that gives you free fonts. So I'm just going to speed things up now and get a few uh, text layers done. Okay, so now we're done with the first letter. Uh, just select all of them and then uh, put it into a group by using Command G if you're on a Mac and I believe uh, Control and G if you're on Windows. Uh, you can see that puts it into a group there. Now, what we're going to do is duplicate the group for our next letter and then using our Move tool. Just shift it over. To a relative position. Okay. Now obviously it still says C on it, so we'll be changing that to a B. Now if you just get rid of all of the I icons, the layer until the bottom one, and we'll be starting the process again except we'll have to change each individual layer to the letter B. Change that to a B. And then we go to the next one. Make that visible. Change that to a B. And then you'll have to do free transform again to get it at the right position. So let's just fast forward this again. Okay, so now that's the B completed, we of course have to do the M. Now, I'm just, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to drag over the M from this one onto the other layer, onto the other document, because otherwise you'll just be wasting your time. But you just do the exact same thing again. And there you have it in terms of the CBM, the font technique has been completed. I'm just going to center the whole text document here, just roughly. Okay, now, okay, so we'll be making that grid pattern underneath now, as we had in this one. So let's just make a new document. 150 by 150 pixels. Okay, grab your uh, paint bucket. Make sure it's a foreground and your foreground is black. Fill it in, then double click the layer. 
go to color overlay flow first, make that black, keep that to 100%, and then just add a stroke of two pixels inside with blend mode of normal and opacity 100%, but the color will of course be white. So okay. Now we just go to edit define pattern and call it boxes 150. Press OK. And we'll go back to this document and so make a new layer. Grab a rectangular marker tool. And you can grab your paint bucket tool. This time have it selected pattern and have your new pattern selected. Fill it in. And just deselect. Go to edit. Transform skew and stretch it out to give a sense of depth. Okay, apply that. Then we set the blending mode to screen, the opacity of around 14%, and then we'll just go to filter, blur. Gaussian blur and one, one to two pixels will do. Press OK. And last but not least, we'll just be adding reflection. So if you just select all those groups that you made there for each of the letters, grab down, go to new layer, and go to edit, transform, flip vertical. And grab your move tool and move them all down. Bring the opacity down a bit. Around 50-60% will do. Then press. Now we'll just have to group that into one thing. So again, Command and G or Control and G. Add a layer mask and then grab your gradient tool. Make sure there's foreground to background and then just drag it down to give a nice faded effect. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.